talk at Christmas. My ambition's not that small. But I can't reach new heights at all. Cause I always end up coming on shore. Self-esteem just melts. Wow. It's jarring to one's mental health. Who says size doesn't matter? Surely wrong. Christmas is a time to give. That's how elven people live. Wow. How can I not be negative when the list of all my shortcomings is long Feels like all your hopes are kaput. Seems no matter what you do, discrimination's all too true. They all look down their nose at you. Seem to never get an out from underfoot.
between me and Jonathan. <laughs> Why is that? Because it keeps me from punching him. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Your Worship. Didn't no, we can't not, call anymore, him not anymore. Not so anymore. we call him Your Washed Up. <laughs> Last year, that there, there's somebody new in the job, and you need a girl in the band, and she'd be great. Right, right. We need a shady TV. <laughs> well, I actually do appreciate this very much because, as you all know, there is only one thing I dislike more than love, actually. And what's that? Singing in public. That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, so, I was, uh, I, I, when they told me they were going to do this, and that was adorable, right? Like, who can say no to Jonathan's puppy dog face? I did suggest that I was going to read my 112-page essay uh, that I've been working on, on why no one should ever watch Love Action. But we fell asleep while he was saying that. And awful people doing awful things. But, you may recall last year we finally came to a detente. We came to an agreement, which is, I don't got to sing. But what I can do is read you a story. And so last year, if you were here, you'll recall that I read a very inspirational little story, Love the World by Todd Parr. It was an optimistic time. We had a great new mayor and a great new city council, and everything was looking up. And then this year came. <laughs> so given what we've all been through this year, and given my own personal attitude about where we're at uh, in society and our <clears throat> provincial government, <laughs> I thought <laughs> that... What great talent did you choose? So, I talked to We'd like to thank our sponsor, the provincial government. <laughs> I did what you do at this time of year, which is I reached out to the amazing Calgary Public Library and the awesome youth librarians and asked them to help me figure out what matched my mood and what we should read. Uh, and they suggested Hookers and Blow Save Christmas. <laughs> It is a, a heartwarming story about city services, right? And a tow yeah. truck, a heroic tow truck, right? A tow truck. Of hookers, yeah. Of course, needs the help of the snowblower. Of course, oh. the snowblower <laughs> to save Christmas. Helping the Google tow truck. It. Yeah, Ken, Ken told me I couldn't. Yeah. So what we're going to do, guys, if you're ready? What's the silver medal prize? The here? Silver medal prize is today. We're going to get a little groovy. So today, I would love to share with you all a fun little tale by James Dean and Mr. Eric, Eric Litwin, Pete Cat Saves Christmas. So, settle in, ladies and gents. It's not Mayor Nenshi reads anymore, but he still reads. <laughs> Twas the day before Christmas, and Santa was ill. In the cold winter wind, he caught a bad chill. Will Christmas be cancelled? Will it come to that? Never! cried Santa. Let's call Pete the Cat. <laughs> Santa asked Pete to deliver the toys to all the good girls and all the good boys. I'll do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all, give it your all, at Christmas we give, so give it your all. Pete jumped in his minibus and started to roll. Road trip, said Pete. First stop, the North Pole. The reindeer were waiting to give Pete a tow, so he packed up the minibus and the presents, and told them to go. Then the minibus flew, just like in a movie. Beat the cat cried. This is totally groovy. <laughs> I can do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all. Give it your all, and Christmas we give, so give it your all. As the children were sleeping all snug in their beds, Pete and his reindeer appeared overhead. 
straight down the chimney, Pete flew in a dash, then back up to the minibus as quick as a flash. Each time he delivered a holiday gift, he crossed a name off written on Santa's list. Santa's list was so big, and Pete felt so small. But at Christmas, we give. So he gave it his all. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. So give it your all. And the wonders of his love. And wonders of his love. And wonders, wonders of his love.
here. So ladies and gentlemen, you can really help us out if you stand up, stand up, and say Merry Christmas to the person on your right. Say Happy Holidays to the person. Was it a surprise to come? Yeah. yeah. No, I think you mean the Oh, in the concert? Yeah. Well, did you like it? That's the most important part. Good. It's wonderful. And, and thanks for all your posting everything so we can keep up with all your adventures and your place and your new dog. It's so great. Dad didn't come because he had to babysit the dog. Oh, I know. Once you have a dog, that's not. Yeah. I